Hello, hello, viewers! Welcome again to Cat Eyes Channel. Today, I will explain for you things you need to know about new Ice Wizard gameplay. I will reveal for you the basic details on how to play this PVE and PVP Battle Royals mode. Oh yeah, please make sure you subscribe first before we start it, so you won't miss any new videos from me. Thank you. Now let's learn with me. Ice Hazard will be available every day from 18 to 24 game time. You need at least gathering level 40 to participate in this mode. Survivors will head to the abandoned Jacqueline Fort to search for supplies and bring them back alive. This mode is a crossover 4 person team with a total of 24 players in 6 teams in the map. The gameplay is actually quite simple. Players can collect supplies by opening boxes or chests. All equipment and resources can be obtained and used inside the map. Players cannot use their own gear in Ice Hazard. The player's attributes are completely balanced. In the end, if you evacuate successfully through the evacuation point, you win. You can cooperate with your teammates to secure the evacuation point. From the start, it will give you 4 post person pain. By using it, you can send out high value items first when you defeat it. If you're knocked down by monster or players on the way, it will fail and might lose everything. You can quick rearrange every time you get the battle ribbon and attachments to use inside the map. You also can discharge the item you don't need anymore or you want to give to your teammates. The item will be dropped on the ground. This is how you can exchange equipment with your teammates. These two injections are the speed booster, which can increase your run speed. You can try to use it later. Now let's take a look at map introduction. These are the meanings of various signs in the map. The black mark is the detection radar. You can use it to scan your enemy locations. The red arrow is your enemy position. The orange mark is ordinary monster area. The red one is elite monster area. The blue one is big boss area. The harder the monster area, the higher the quality of the equipment will be. The purple one is the poison area and the white one is the safe zone. It will continue to shrink over time. So where is the final evacuation point or exit? There are two different lights in the sky. The purple light tower will send you to the dark gate or the next level. He will meet the final boss. If you defeat him successfully, you will get generous rewards. The evacuation point will not be displayed on the map. After a certain time, the system will prompt. The first extraction point will appear at 5 minutes and 40 seconds from the start. When the first poisonous circle is about to shrink, we need to find and observe the sky by ourselves. There is the one with the blue light is the final evacuation point. Click to evacuate and wait for 30 seconds to clear level 3.
Now we are successfully evacuated. The equipment and supplies taken out can be exchanged for coins. You can exchange the supplies anytime by clicking on Ice Hazard icon tab in your interface. Click on Exchange Shop and submit the supplies you want to exchange. Weekly submissions only 100 supplies, so if you can better just collect purple or golden supplies for exchange. You also can go to Jacqueline South Station directly through ISAZ tab and exchange with NPC Runo. Oh yeah, don't miss Ice Hazard gameplay survivors, you might have a chance to get this exclusive bubble acid core. You can check your supply storage with NPC Talatov, max 200 supplies. In order to match in Ice Hazard gameplay, you need to talk with NPC Beggar. In activity matching interface, you can choose to customize your supply chest. Choose the probability that your supply chest will produce equipment. The locket weapons, you need to earn the formula first. At the same time, you also can configure the combat backpack for the next game. You can click on shortcut to prioritize high quality items. To use in the next match. That's it, survivors. If you have any questions, you can drop them in this video comments. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.